Hello everybody, my name is Mathis, and welcome back to some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. Last episode we made it to Ushitz here, uh, and we learned how to read, which is very exciting for me. Uh, we should have a book we can actually test out that reading knowledge with, if it's in here somewhere. Well, I wonder if we can read the treasure map. Ah, who needs a key? Right. At, <laughs> look at, at first glance, it may appear that learning the art of picking in an essential is an essential part of a thief's education. Appearances don't deceive. First of all, hilarious that my body's just kind of like swaying underneath it. Uh, but we have to study it. So if we hit study, we actually have to study it for hours. So maybe something we want to do before we go to bed every night or something, which is which is fine. I'm down with that. Um, so here we are. And this is the, the glorious town of Ushits. Ushits. I just, you know what I'm, you know what. It is what it is. Uh, so we need to continue... Uh, with the main quest, which is finding out where the bandits live, but we can also kind of like look around and explore. Maybe there's a bathhouse here or something. Uh, with the ability to read every night, I, every time I go to bed, I think I might try and do a little bit of reading, learn a little bit more. Uh, look at that countryside, man. Love it. And it's pretty early in the morning, if I remember correctly, so... Is that something I can wash myself in over here? No. I do need to, to bathe, so if I can find myself like a proper bathhouse. I'll definitely spend the money to bathe because I am going to need to start talking to some nobles and stuff soon. Um, this has got to be an inn, right? Lodgings. Yeah, so I can sleep here. Okay, hey, how's it going? Uh, I have also been informed that as long as I continue down the main story, I'll eventually get a room in a castle. There's at least something I can wash myself in uh, that I can go to whenever I need, which is which is good. Uh, even though I do still have the uh, naughty Mr. Miller's house. What is happening here? Is he glitched? Whoa, Father Godwin. Okay. Father Godwin, why are you holding your... Like, I step away. I'm very confused, Father Godwin. What's happening? What is going on here? You know how to wield a sword. Oh, okay. I see you know how to wield a sword, Father. I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick. I practiced with a stick. This guy's voice sounds terrible. Reminder of my youth and days gone by, and it helps keep me in good form. All right, well, we're looking for a I'm guy with a limp. Looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? What would you want with him? Well, it's no skin off my nose. The bastard has a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Ratai. Hey, oh, that was really easy. You have any work? Do you have any work that needs doing? My dear lad, I have more worries than I can bear. Another pair of shoulders would ease my burden. I have to deal with a local witch. A witch? The herb woman, old Gertrude. That devious hag who will stoop to anything. Like all herbalists, for that matter. Rude, first oh, of all. don't tell me. The cows are giving blood instead of milk, and babies are being born with two heads and a tail. This is no laughing matter. Gertrude isn't evil. She just has Holy to crap. Your this guy's voice acting sticks people. out so bad. A little bird told me she incited some Ujets women to witchery. Oh my god. You don't say. Witchery, my lord. I am so nervous about all of this witchery. A little bird told you. A little bird told you, did it? You know how good people are at seeing the splinter in another's eye and not the beam in their own. In other words, someone's been gossiping. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see her and find out what she's been up to. I know she lives in fear of the Holy Church, so tell her I sent you. That will make her talk and think twice about encouraging witchcraft. If you learn that she truly did involve folk in some foolishness, find out all you can and deal with it. Sure. Consider it done. Good. And never fear. I'm a man who always pays his debts. Thanks, man. Now, could you just get some training and some voice acting? You know what I'm saying? Go and see Gertrude, the herb woman, and find out what she did to incite Ujit's women to do. Well, we'll figure that out. Um, we got Limp Man over here that I definitely want to talk to, though. Might as well just knock that out. We know he lives on a cottage on the outside in the road to Rete. Uh, if we take a look, it's right this way. So, And if we also zoom out, that's got to be Gertrude. Okay, got it. Well, there's another quest here. Let me grab that. That's got to be this guy, yeah? Yeah. How's it going, dude? Uh, close this door. Don't want to let the rain in, you know what I'm saying? Good day to you. Hello. 
What's happening around here? Is there anything suspicious going on in these parts? Indeed, there is. All right, what? Around here. <laughs> you should hear about what Vashek the groom has been up to at the stables. <laughs> when the head groom told the lads here, they fell off their seats laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just tell me. What's what's happening? Is there anything suspicious? Nothing out of the... All right, so we got that little place there. We can go, we can go babble to. All right. All in time, all in time. For now, we're gonna go to Limp Man and take care of that. Look, this, this, this countryside right here is phenomenal. This looks super good. There's something about this scenery here that is just reminds me very much of the UK. I've only been to the UK a few times, but they really did a great job at uh, not the UK, Europe, Europe, not the UK. Uh, I've only been to Europe a few times, though. Also, though, I've been to the UK a little bit. Um, and they just captured the landscape phenomenally and what it actually looks like. And what I imagine it probably looked like back in the medieval days. All right, limp man, is this you in this cottage right here? Whoa. Huh. Limpy Lubosh. It's a great name. Oh, there we go. Yeah, nine frames a second, baby. My favorite. citizens move along there's nothing to see here if that's what you call nothing to see I'd like to know what something to see looks like I'm frames a second mouth moving keys of St. Peter this is all I need we'll have to send word to Sir Hanush why Sir Hanush that might not be necessary who are you I'm Henry of Scalitz in the service of Hanish's Captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say you had a limp? Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosh. Oh, Jesus. Or all that's left of him. Well, someone got to him before I did, huh? Interesting. What? What is with the music? Oh, Lord. Well, oh, gross. Oh, God. Sakra. Oh, nothing's ever easy. I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. Look and ask all you like. I don't know what happened in these patches that made the cutscenes go from 15 frames to 8, but only during cutscenes and the game runs at 60 plus the rest of the game? It's so weird. Okay. Uh, who was Limpy Lubosh? Who was Limpy Lubosh? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. Why do you have a limp? Did you know anything suspicious? Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Did he have any cronies? Did he have any kith or kin in the village? None. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Where was he on the night? Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? 
I've no idea. He kept his distance, motherfucker. Okay, nothing here. Limp. How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. All right, well, that doesn't help me much. Uh, when was the body when found? When did you find the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. Well, they probably, if they, if they gutted, if they didn't hear him gut, get gutted or screaming, chances are he was knocked out or killed quietly before he was gutted, and maybe he was gutted and pinned up like that as a sign or as, as a warning. The parish priest here in Egypt sees a peculiar sort of fellow. I noticed he's quite handy with a sword. He is indeed. He's as hard as nails. More than once he's intervened in a brawl in the tavern and sat everyone on their asses. He's not to be taken lightly. I doubt he acquired those skills at the seminary. You know how it goes. The nobles send their youngest sons to study for the priesthood. And our parish priest has blue blood in him. He probably learned to fight at home before he went to university. That's how it goes with those aristocrats. But I heard something happened and he was roving the world for a while. I don't know what he got up to. Ooh, a mysterious priest of the mysterious past. Interesting. Well, we're going in. Nobody look. All right, buddy, what happened to you? Read! Judas. Hmm. Looks like this is meant to be a warning. But for whom? Why? Maybe the gang had a falling out. But a bandit who knows how to write isn't something you see every day. Also, I wonder what would happen if I came to this quest and I didn't know how to read. Would I be able to read that as Judas or not? Probably not, would be my guess. All right, let's take a look at his head. What's this? Looks like someone's hit him very hard on the head. Could they have bludgeoned him to death? Yeah, that's what I was saying. That would explain why he didn't scream. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Lord above, they did a hell of a job on him. Must have been agony. Head and torso is the only thing I can do, anything. plus read. Well, if he got smacked, did he get smacked here or did he get smacked elsewhere? Uh, how's my character looking for food, by the way? Let's go ahead and eat some food real quick. Mmm. <laughs> Little overeating, we're fine. Inspect. What am I inspecting? The bed. Okay. I'm not gonna steal the food. I'm starting to think the food might be kind of a waste of inventory space in the game with how readily available it is. We're gonna lock pick your lock, bud. And we're gonna do it while I'm not being watched. Mm, nothing here. Mead, schnapps, and wine, lots of alcohol. Hmm. Alright, well. Got it? Cobweb. So he hasn't been in here a lot, like, at all. I didn't, you know, cobweb was something you could pick up. Bandage, bludgeon, dog skin, horse hide, and red deer hide. Interesting. Really not much. No ladder or anything that leads me up. It's like a sickle here, so... Lit candle, so it couldn't have been that long ago if the candle's still lit. Nope. Alright. Well, we did, a, we did a good look around at least, so... Happy about that. So we're going to have to start asking people throughout town, presumably. And there's a quest giver out there. Um, is there actually anybody? You know, let's. We need to also. What I need to do while I'm here is find a tailor, get my armor fixed up, my clothing all repaired, that kind of thing. That's just a uh, nothing important here. All right. Make sure. Alright, let's head back in then. 
find a tailor, like I said. I want to head... I mean, I don't know where I can find the tailor. I assume I'll find everything right here along the main road, so... Let's go and do that, then. Come on, Pebbles. Let's go. Into town. Anybody who's leaning up against the wall, my, my brain automatically is like, he's unique. He's going to give you a quest. Not necessarily true. There's the inn. So here we're at the marketplace. Uh, yeah, we're gonna bang a right here then and see if there's anything down here tailor-wise or uh, armory, you know, the typical stuff that I wanna take care of given the chance. Stuff that I need to be paying a little bit more attention to overall. Like, what is this? It's a grocer. Ushitz is a little bit like more spread out which I like, as far as like an aesthetic is concerned. It's really cool looking. But the fact that it is a little bit more spread out means the things I'm looking for are gonna be a little bit more difficult to come across. So I guess my my first gut then is gonna be to head to, excuse me, pup. Uh, is probably head to the, the bar and see if people locally know him there. Maybe heading there at night would be good. You're going to farm. There's a hut out there. Maybe I'll go to it at some point. But yeah, I think going to the to the barn is probably our, our best first bet. Why are you running? What are you running for? Why are you running? You. Well, let's ask him what I we want. I come in the name of Sahanish of Lipa. I'm investigating. So Hanush gives a job like that to a young fellow like you? Okay. Who who was this Lubash who was murdered? That man Lubosh who was murdered. What was he like? He was a strange one. Always drinking, bad tempered. Lord Okay. Have you noticed anything suspicious? Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? I didn't see much of him lately. Not even in the tavern. Not till yesterday in church. The church. Alright, we gotta talk to the priest. Do you know what Lubosh was doing? I don't think he was home at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're saying that he was there. Do you know anyone Lubosh used to spend time? I really don't know. That's all. I don't know what he's running from now. But I can tackle him. All right. Well, we can talk to the priest then. We're here. We might as well. Still want to find... Uh, Storm's coming in nice. Still want to find Taylor and all that, though. Alright, priest. Let's talk. God be with you. Yeah, well. Bad voice acting priest. We need to talk. The blessings of our good lord be with you, father. I'm here in the name of Sahanus of Lipa, investigating the massacre at Neuhoff, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. That's rude! But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubosh? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child. All sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubosh don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, father. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you know what Lubosh was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. What do you mean? What? I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. He can Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers. There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confession. There has to be an exception. Father, surely you can't be serious. 
There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply only, no matter what the circumstances. And this is one of them. Why would you even tell me then that you know anything about it? You can't hurt him now. But Lubosh is dead. You can't hurt him. But if you don't tell me, more innocent people may die. If I told you I would be betraying a... If people believe the sanctity of the confessional couldn't be trusted, the consequences would be even worse than that. Worse than the death of innocent Christians? Worse than the murderer escaping punishment? No one escapes punishment. He was my only lead. Father, Lubosch was my only lead to the Neuhoff Raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk it over in the evening. In the tavern. Over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. Thank you, Father. So I'm going to have to drink with you in the tavern tonight because God said so. So not only are you not going to, you're not going to, you're not going to betray your, your holy vows to not tell me what he said to you in confession, but you will drink the devil's juice and, and get drunk with me in the process. God damn, man. God damn. All right. Well, while we're at it then, while we're waiting... Let's head to part two here in, of the town and see if we can find a tailor and stuff. Because maybe, just maybe, if I get him drunk enough, I'll get a second chance at being able to try and convince him. So my best bet, then, would be to, to look my dang, dang, diddly, dangly nicest. I mean, they've got to have a tailor and stuff here. So let's make sure we do it. What is that? Cows. All right. Well, not what I'm looking for. Is that going to be one of the question marks? Yeah, it is going to be. Let's, let's at least see what this is. Pebbles, stay here, man. What the hell is this? Butcher. All right. Makes sense. I'm going to leave Pebbles behind for a bit. Because I kind of just kind of blast through this area looking for the last marks. Why is there a rabbit here? Barn. Maybe there's something in here that I can explore. It's a horse trader. That's a nice horse. Head Gromin. His name's Gromin. Jesus Aww. Christ be praised. Um, I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lipa. I'm investigating the. Of course. Ask. What do you know about him? Do you know anyone Lubos? You he was a loner. Okay, nothing there. Do you know what Lubos would? Not a clue. Okay, you're useless. Have you noticed any? Well, now I think of it, I hadn't seen him. Okay. That man Lu. He was a drunk. Was a Y'all have the all. same exact Thank thing to say about him. What do you got any for work? work? Enough for a dozen men. You could. What happened? Did he do something? Just found out that he lost our pie. I don't know what that means. It where? In his stomach. No, no, pie was our fastest. Oh, well, that's bad news. He fell, banged his head, and the horse bolted. Can you fathom it? A stable hand falling off a horse, and then pie took off at a gallop. I'll try and find him. Well, I can't take Vasek's job, but I can try to find your pie. That would be nice of you. If there's anything you need to know, ask that fool. Right. Pegasus is his name. Cool. Find Pi and talk to Vashik. That's fine. So I'm still missing the tailor, I guess. There's just no tailor here. Usually the question marks indicate other people, but let's just swing back into Ushits real quick.
There's also... Vashik looks like he's going to be here, too. Well, there's the priest, but there's Vashik. Let's talk to him while he's here. Good health to you. How's the head? So even strangers know my share. Come on, then. Come and take a closer look at Vashek the Blockhead. That's not what I... It's, you have to admit it's funny. Well, it was pretty funny, but I didn't come to taunt. So what is it you want? Just need to know more about the I horse. I promised the head groom that I'd look for a part. Oh, his name wasn't Grom. Well, good luck with Grom. that. I've been searching half the day. Although I have been seeing double ever since that bang on the head. So it's possible I missed something. Can you describe Pi for me? Uh, long wow, pipe. funny. Mm, well, more. that should narrow it down. <laughs> Does he have any distinguishing features? Little smooch. Like a color, for instance? Sorry, he's dappled gray. Quite the opposite. Uh, where'd you lose him? Where did you fall off by? Give me a smooch. Just Kiss south me. of me. Between the fields and the woods, there's a crossroads where four paths meet. It was around there. Okay. Four paths. Now you see my problem. When did it happen? When was that? In the morning. Then I staggered out for a while, feeling as rough as a boar's ass. I was glad to stagger back here in the end. Can you describe? Uh, you did hit your head. Yes. I asked you to describe Pi. Sorry. He... Quite the opposite. All right. Say no more. Fine. I'll... Thanks. Well? Pi's used to taking the bridal way. So I keep to the... The bridal way. That's useful. Thanks. What can you train me in? Horse riding? Eh, I'm good. Alright, I gotta go drink with the with the priest. Hello? Hey priest. Let's get boozy. Blessings of our Lord be. And with you, lad. Take a seat. Alright, let's drink. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything. But maybe we can work something out. But first, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? From Scalitz. I'm from Scalitz. Oh. I'm sorry. What about your kin? Doesn't matter. I'm sorry, I don't want to talk about it. I understand. It must have been terrible. To the memory of all who were left behind. Oh, God. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch, Bernard. I don't want to share too much... I don't want to share too much info. You think I'm too young for the job, Father? I do, to tell the truth. Well, I can only apologize for my lack of gray hair and gout. Now the most important thing. What actually happened at Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things. But I take most of it with a pinch of salt. The rumors aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosch, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claim. Dreadful. Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. You know what they say. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. But this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. All right. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. 
Hmm. Like, I, I get what he's saying and why he's saying it, but... I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again, and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. What? If I tell you what Lubos told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. But, first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help Why you. am I here now, Word then? Of honor? On my soul. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where is do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, I don't, I don't well, actually give a shit. Well, is isn't pro. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. The tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life, with a nice moral to them, are popular as well. God, I just Especially don't care. Especially about fornication and similar scandalous vices. Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague, in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church. The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Did they get this Their voice actor out of, like, New Hampshire? Longing for wealth. Sounds like a dude who would live in, like, New Hampshire. Everything. You want to baptize it just a child? doesn't fit. Hey, you want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive fur. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people, too. So, Amen. So angry. Well, this Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. I'm all fired Let's up. Let me kill somebody. Ah, uh, don't drink. I don't Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation is completely different. Hooth preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. Guy. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits and sasa All right, John. John, I know you've never voice acted before and you're from a cabin in New Hampshire and this is going to be your big break. I need you to be mad and religious. Go. I've been drinking, and I know what it's like to be poor. I also love a paycheck, and this is... I'm, I'm going to voice the next big anime after this. Uh, you want to preach against debauchery? What do you think of Haas? The teaching of Master Haas? What are your folks saying about it? What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Things that make Watch, this angry. is going to be a, like some massively famous In a few voice years, actor. It'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundations. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe. You want to preach against debauchery? Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope? I didn't know he lived with a woman. I don't know where he got that information. No, I don't. Okay, cool. What do you think of this Jan Hus? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Okay. Where can I find out more about his teachings? You like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. Oh boy, I can't wait. 
Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? Am I drunk? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. Wait. I'm drunk? Sure. Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I, I knew you wouldn't let me down. I've reached a new level in drinking. I didn't know I could reach, reach a new level in drinking. Oh, yeah. Eight frames, baby. Proper cutscene time. Song. It's a fucking, that's a genuine banger right there. Okay. Well. <laughs> Enough of this. Oh, hey. Bailiff. Come on over here. Sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, father. It's three hours past dusk. And curfew is long gone. I am obliterated. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks. And I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men, throw them out. Fight me. Fight me! I got trashed with a priest in a bar. Have fun. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. We're gonna actually fight? Yup, I guess so. I'm gonna drunkenly fight. I learned university. Whoa! Can't see shit. Drunken brawling. And I can't see anything. I'm not gonna pull a sword though. Ooh, ooh, into the tree. Okay. Special move. Nope, he went to the he went through the fence. Alright, I'm coming to you, buddy. Ow. Okay, okay. Fuck it. Ow. All right, I guess I'm fighting you now. Can't see. Let's wait for the green. I can't see anything. It's too dark. I can't. Where am I? I'd love to. And Henry, too, I'm sure. Right, Henry. What? Stop that nonsense, Godwin. Are you out of your mind? What will people say? They can say what they like. Uh. What do I care? What do they do to me? Watch the step, my dear. I'm Be so careful. obliterated. You don't hurt yourself. Godwin, you're a buffoon. <laughs> I don't... I, I was in a fight, and then I wasn't in a fight. I, I, maybe he blacked out. I mean, it's just all part of the, you know, immersion aspect. <sighs> Here we are. Look at this beauty. Oh, oh. oh my God. A oh, lot. We can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> This priest is a whack job. 
And now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. No, no, please, no. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. Uh, no. No. <laughs> God, when you old goat. Come here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't tell Teresa. No. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 demonetized. What do you say, Henry? Oh, Lord. Shall we take a little ride of our own? Oh, Jesus. No. Boobies. God. All right, well. Guess he doesn't have a say. Nor do I. Please tell me I have everything on. I don't. Okay. Uh. Okay. All right, we're back. <laughs> All right, we leveled up, which is sweet. I am completely trash. If we take a look at our debuffs, we're drunk. Which we've already, we, gives us like some bonuses, but not enough. Um, Troubadour. You have a 50% higher reputation when you talk to women. So you can easily persuade them more easily. And you can avail, you can avail bath wenches services for free. Increase your speech skill when haggling. In dialogue, you'll see counterpart stats in skill check. Yeah, I want that. I want to see them. I want to see their stats. Okay, and then main level. Ooh, scholar. Your momentary reading level increased by three, but your strength and warfare skills have each incur a minus one penalty. So we get smarter, but we get a little weaker. We get, you know, nerd. Ken, you're handsome and charismatic, but you haven't built up your strength. Charisma plus two, strength minus two. Interesting. Um, what about Brute? Plus two strength, minus one on charisma and speech. Cloak and dagger, plus two stealth, minus one, uh. Plus two speech, minus two strength loss. Scout two. Thought I took scout two already. That's not a big deal, though. I don't know. Do I want to take golden tongue, minus two on my strength? Because my strength's out of what right now? An eight? Do I really want to take a minus two on my strength? I don't know, man. And if I do this, minus, my plus two, minus one on charisma and speech, though. And my charisma is a five, so it would already be pretty low. I don't know. Maybe I'll hold off on that. Manly odor. None of these are like... I don't know if I want to take a penalty to any of this. I mean, getting my reading level to three would be maybe nice, but yeah, I'm gonna just leave it. Oh God. Am I supposed to talk to him or? Earn the priest's trust. I mean, that's what I'm trying to do, right? That's why I got drunk with them. What is it? I want to talk. Where are we going? All right. Whoa, and this cutscene is like over 100 FPS. Well, I don't understand. I have to say that was a fine evening. Oh, God. <coughs> I don't understand. I earned his trust. I don't understand the, the whole cutscene fluctuation, I guess, in frames. It's so weird. It's gotta be a way they, it's gotta be the way they render things. Yeah, cause now we're back to nine. It's gotta be the way they're rendering things and where are they putting me. Godwin, you beast. Get up. Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards. Oh, fuck it out. 
Oh, oh where the... Oh, what the... Oh, who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Oh, Henry. My great friend, Henry. And we have a wonderful time. Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, stay on in my head. Oh, my guts. Oh, my poor suffering stomach. Oh, what was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive, I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? That you got mass? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! Oh, you're the priest. <sighs> can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. Oh, Lord. What? So, first, I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. <sighs> then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Oh, God. Henry, look. From what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishop's going to have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <clears throat> oh. oh, God. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosha's cronies are. Dude, oh, fine. Done. Bribery gets you everywhere. Another I got a point I got a perkin drinking now. Sweet. Lucky me. So all at once the confessional seal isn't so sacred? Don't mock me. I won't give you Fine. <sighs> well, all right. But I can't make any promises about what'll happen. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern. Oh, Jesus. You're going to make that. me try and remember no all that? No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine, then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it, then. Oh, great. Can't wait. All right. Um. All right. Well, first of all, we got a perk in drinking, so we should be perking it up. Beer bibber. Uh, the beer you get is 50% weaker, so you can drink more, but wine is twice as strong. Drinking habit. Under the influence of alcohol, your hand will shake 25% less and your bow skill is higher by two. When sober, you will shake 25% more. So literally just an alcoholic. Great. Uh, wine bibber. All right, I'll go, I'll go beer bibber. Works for me. Give me, give me all the, the booze and of the, of that. All right, man, lead the damn way. I'm back in my my undies. Why am I? So, oh, I'm still drunk. I'm like, why is my character still swaying back and forth? But all right, dude, let's go. I'm putting on all my stuff, though. I don't care how ugly it looks. I put it on once and I, it all came off again. So. So go, my dude. I don't know 
Why are you waiting for me? Oh, yeah. Jesus. Really? Man, they'll never know. I thought he'd never show up. Look at him. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. You were with them, you beast. Just you. Look at him. Mother of God, any minute now, he'll throw up. Animals, I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. Sorry, man. I'm investigating a murder. You wouldn't understand. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Don't drop it. Accepit panem. In sanctas, at venerabiles, a manus suas. <clears throat> oh. oh, God. <laughs> Hoc facite in meam commemorationem. Don't drink it. Are you the one I banged? Brothers and sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at Neuha. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University preaching. Now hang on while my lips catch up with the voice because the frames are so low. Henry, to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Because, as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So, Henry, you may begin. Oh boy, I can't wait. Let's hope it works. Oh, they're going to make me do it. Lengthy sermon. <clears throat> uh, greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am here to tell you about Mother Church and to show you through my words how she is falling into decay and abandon. How the once great mother of all Christians is losing her dignity and trading in souls like the merchants in the temple. Uh, but I am digressing. Boy is a cheek. Hmm. Creation oh, has given no. to every man the power by which he might rule the whole world. But that power does not give him the right to rule. That right belongs to God alone. <clears throat> Continue wordily. It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, enemies, injustice, hunger and chaos, failed harvests, fires, floods and other catastrophes. The accursed wealth that the church is drowning in is poisoning almost the whole of Christendom. I when remember. dogs are fighting over a bone, take the bone and they will stop. Just like the flock of ravens that has descended on this land to peck up every speck of gold and silver. They show no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned by covetousness. They trade everything. Everything is for sale. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. And the prelates sin and give themselves absolution. For shame. Shame upon them. To sin is human. 
It is the custom of the gluttonous prelates and monks to preach against sin. But what do they know of us ordinary folk? Let us remember the marriage at Cana, where our Lord My Jesus Christ himself feasted with the other guests and drank his fill. And when the wine was gone, he performed a miracle and created more. He, whose companions were poor travellers, simple folk, prostitutes and troublemakers, performed a miracle so the feast could continue. Now that's the kind of sermon I like to hear. Hell yeah. No, bro. brothers and sisters. Jesus did not condemn alcohol. Drink to lighten the cross you bear in this veil of tears, but not with such abandon that you cannot keep holy the Sabbath. For there should be moderation in all things, and it is not drinking itself that is sinful, but intemperance and beastly indulgence. He's right. Hell yeah, girl. Hell yeah. Keep going wordily. Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the prelates. Away with them. We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. I'll try. I say to you, in the words of Jan Hus, he who knows much, let him speak much. He who knows little, let him speak little. Let each speak as much as he knows. And he who knows nothing, let him at least teach his neighbor one virtuous deed by setting him good example and refraining from playing dice and from fornication. And that applies both to priests and to you, brothers and sisters. And that's his conclusion. No. That, that is all I heard in Prague. Amen. Well, I think I did fine. Except for maybe the end, I guess. <laughs> I just want more frames, man. The lad spoke well, considering what a soak he is. Rude. He's right, that was. The young man shouldn't drink so much, but the Lord's given him a silver tongue. The lad who came here, those clothes I'll ever get to Prague. He told him nicely. Now tell me what I need to know, my dude. Ooh. <laughs> well, well, my boy, you have talent, and I can't deny it. And you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I noticed. And I wasn't the only one. Well, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin, uh, so gluttony and fornication. God does forgive a penitent. So, what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Was he at Neuhof that day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now, slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Don't let me down after all I've been through. For you? Well, now Lubosch came to me shortly after it happened. And his conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say, uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first, they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour, and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhof. That would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know that Lubos killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, only nicknames. Uh, 
Talked about some fella called Ricky from Ladechko. Pious, Timmy. Pious. <laughs> that lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. And anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Odechko, right? Well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tankard with you again sometime. Noted, sir. Yeah, I'll try. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. And if anyone should ask, you heard nothing from me. I'll deny everything. Fair. I don't doubt it. <sighs> Good old father, New Hampshire. What a guy. All right, well, we got the sermon done. And because our, we, we did, you know, focus on our speech skill, we did well. We did really, really well. I have a wicked debuff. Oh, my God. That has a lot of questing. What's, what the hell is my debuff going on here? Hangover. That's going to last a while, huh? What? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Splitting head take, hangover, blah, blah, blah. The usual, the usual. That's fine. Okay. Um, so we've got a few things we need to do here. Uh, we need to swing out to here. That's the crossroads where presumably the horse was missing. The, the horse got left. It's a camp here. I've kind of been all over here. Um, I do want to. I do want to ride my ass all the way back though. Riki is actually in Ladechko, um, but what I, I want to go back here because uh, I want to see if Teresa wants to go on a date. But we also have some stuff here. Gertrude, the herb woman. Yeah, she's the witch. And I, I also want to get my stuff all fixed up. So we may make a run all the way back to Rete where I can get some discounts and actually get the shit that I need done uh, done at an affordable price so I'm not blasting through money and then we can start tackling everything else so why don't we do that let's go ahead and call our horse oh, hey how's it going Ugh. and we'll make a we'll make our ride we'll start our ride because there's no is there a tailor here activity giver trader I mean, there might be, but there's not one that I can really see. So... Neuhoff, no. Ledechko, maybe? And I need to go there anyway? And I we do know that there's a, a blacksmith here. So maybe in Ledechko. Maybe we don't need to go all the way that all the way back. But at that point, you know, we're going to be at Ledechko anyway. We might as well swing all the way back, do this, and then go take uh, Teresa on our second date. So everything's going to be right around here. So let's go retire lower gate. And we're going to make the trip. I think it's going to be worth it for us to do that. It's not as far as it seems. It's a, it's a few hours in game. Um, which is fine. I might want to get carcass on the road. Yeah, we'll stop. Human carcass. Well, the minute I touch it, somebody's going to come out, so. Burger's sword. That's a lot of stuff. Why don't I take all of this? This is, this, go up. What are you doing, you murderer? I didn't do it. What are you talking about? What on earth are you talking about? I saw you looting. I was examining the crime. I was looking for wounds. I was looking for signs of life. Uh-huh. And could you? No, dead. Unfortunately, not anymore. All right. I suppose. I'm glad you saw sense. What are you doing here? And what exactly were you doing here, anyway? What are you getting at? Every time I find a body, somebody's nearby. It'll be easier for you if you confess. All right, then. <laughs> I did it. I didn't want to kill him. I just couldn't stop myself. There he is with money, strutting around. I've barely got enough to keep myself fed. Rude. You don't have to tell anyone, you know? And and you won't regret it. Go. No need for that. I understand. Go, quick. Get out of... 
It's a ruffian. I'm taking all of his shit. All right. Uh, because it's just, there's a lot of good stuff in here that I can use to... We're gonna uh, grab those. There's a lot of good stuff in here I can use and dress up nicely. <laughs> it's just nice clothing. That's all. We're gonna eat these. Is that everything that's stolen? There. Perfect. Honestly, not a not a bad find if I want like that's that's like immediately a ton of nice clothing. So that's valuable for me. Man, that's a long ride. Okay. Uh back down we go. And we got a little nourishment out of it. We still need energy. We're going to end up sleeping probably for that. But I'd like to get everything nice and pretty looking. Before we go on a date with our, our dear Teresa. We'll get everything repaired, tailored up, blacksmithed, shined. I know this is going to go be a bit of a longer episode, but if uh, I want to do some of the side... I want to take care of some of the stuff I need to take care of, so... I wish I could zoom out while this is going on, though, and see and see... How far away I am. I mean, no, I know Neuhof is not too far from where I need, to, where I'm aiming to go. This is Tomberg, presumably. Right? That's Tomberg. No, that's Rate. Actually, we're good. We're here? Yeah, we're here. That was not that bad. All things considered. Alright. I've got nothing on me. I'll leave my horse here in case anybody wants to come and check my pockets. So, we'll swing in. Uh, it's this way? Yeah, it's going to be right here. And then we're going to go to the bathhouse, polish armor, and all that other stuff. Stop for a bit. I'll just give you a quick search. Sure. Why? Orders of his... I'm carrying an important dispatch. <laughs> yeah. I have time for this nonsense. Yeah, all right. Sweet. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Not that I have anything on me, but... I'm glad I can make it work. So this is the blacksmith? Swordsmith. Can you actually repair, though? My God, what happened to you? I just want to trade. No. Shop guard. I mean, makes sense. All right, let's get some repairs done then. I don't. Is this the armor smith? Don't say Henry. Henry. Armor smith. Let's talk repairs, fam. God be with you. About repairs. Uh, let's do... I mean, I can select all and just repair everything. It's not that bad. We'll haggle them down a little bit, but to get everything completely fixed up... Can we do something about the... Well, let's try and bring them down a little bit. I'll pay you 365. Satisfied? Well, now. What uh, What are you willing to bring it up to? God be with you, Henry. So I gotta, I gotta accept, unfortunately, because if I do it again, he's gonna be pissed, so. I'll go for that. 400, give everything repaired. So I should have, everything on me is at full repair. And it's all polished. So it actually looks pretty damn good. All right, we need to do that for the tailor now. This is where the money goes, man. Taylor, right here. Good health to you, God Henry. You, That's a traitor, but maybe that'll be the same. Nope. Taylor, hello. Let's talk. Give me God them repairs, boy. Let's repair everything. It's not even that much. Let's just close the deal. It's 40, 49 bucks. So how's my money looking now? I spent about a third of what I had. Still got 800 gold though. Not too shabby. What's up, Pebbles? I saw you half teleport. 
Well, I look good now. So actually, let's just swing off to Teresa and see if she was willing to hang out. Hit a date. Date day. Date night? Who knows? All right. I'm looking good for your girl. Question is, where's she at? Wash up a little bit. Oh, there she is. I saw her move. Teresa! What up, girl? Let's do another date. Uh. Don't you want to do something together again? That sounds wonderful. Everyone says the Broken Wheel Tavern is the fun place to be in the evening. Oh. I want you to take me there. Hell yeah, girl, let's Have do it. Have you ever been to a tavern? Me and my father used to stop at the tavern in the glade when he was taking the flower into town, but he never wanted to take me inside. What do you think, Hal? Shall we go? Can we do another? Uh... Why not? Well, I don't see why not. But you'll have to try some ale while you're there. I will. I promise. Let's be going then. All right, so I'm going to take her to the tavern. I think I saw this tavern before. Let's actually go ahead and put courtship up. Oh, I gotta. We got a walker. Like, what's going on? Shit, where is this tavern? Go to taverns a lot, do you? Sometimes. If I want a proper meal, I have to. You wouldn't want to eat the stuff I cook. <laughs> That's true. I haven't forgotten that bet you made back in Scallops that time. Don't talk about those oat cakes. Fritz's belly heaves at the very mention, even now. And that's where you go to woo wenches, is it? Yeah, naturally. The taverns and baths are where the best ones gather. You lout. No need to take it the wrong way. I'm not taking it any way at all. It's all right. I'm only joking. I don't go picking up women in taverns. I prefer a different sort. Well, yeah, like what the ones that come to churches and bang your brains out. mouth and green eyes. You're such a... <laughs> come on, then. Just saying. Oh, I'm seeing eight frames. <laughs> Cutscene time. Here we are. <sighs> should, we, uh, should we order something? Yes, definitely. Uh, Look at my armor. It's all shined service. up. <laughs> oh, a pair of lovebirds. <laughs> what would you like to order? Very musical episode. Mm. Is, it, uh, is it all right? It's excellent. This ale, there's no better in the province. Mm. You know what? <laughs> what? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, dance time, oh, girl. No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, but, but really? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, come on, be brave. Uh, no, I've never. Hand on my hip. I, I don't even know how. And off we go. <laughs> but really, I, I, I don't know how. <laughs> You're doing just fine. All right. Oh, it's... All right. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Adorable. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> the music stopped, though, so we're just dancing to nothing. <laughs> you out of breath already, dude? Out. And you said you couldn't dance. I don't know if I'd call that dancing. Uh-oh. How about a dance with a real man? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> How about you leave me alone and bother someone else? Oh, come on. It's a crime to waste a body like that on a scrawny boy like him. You got tits like a cow in calf. Wow. Ah, that's it. I like a woman to fight for a fucker. Dude, get in there. There you go. I punched him with fucking metal gloves, so I think he'd be a little You'll bit more injured. That boy. Come on. Let's go. Let's 
fucking go. Bar fight? Hell yes. Alright, I, I, I give you a free hit. Yeah, you wanna keep going? Oh, you're bleeding already, my man. Oh no, what happened? Down he goes. Dude, he come on. Is my armor my already hero. all fucked up? <laughs> Does it hurt? No, he barely hit me. Uh, you should worry about the other fella. I'm fine. Ow. Of course you are. That's why you wince every time I touch Henry, you. Henry, you big old bitch. You've gone to way you worse fights. Lost, though. He wasn't feeling so playful after you'd finished with him. Opticals. Baby. No, oh my God, we're gonna love each other until she gets murdered, and I have to do more revenge stuff. I bet. Come on, another fight. Bring it on. I discovered the broken so, island. You'll probably be fine. Yeah, I but figure. But try to give your hands some rest. Don't go lifting anything too heavy. Jesus. Oh, I'm getting Thank pushed. Thank you. Can I take you home? <laughs> you never give up. Are you sure you don't need a bit more rest? Dude, it was barely I can a find fight. my own way home. Game, come on. I'll manage those few extra steps. Come on then, hero. Well, all the the bruises are gone I'll now. Give you this. Nights out with you might be painful, but they're never boring. I do my best. <laughs> Uh, you should go in before Peshek starts fretting. I, I mean, I sleep in the same room as you, so... Hell yeah. <laughs> He's all confused. Oh. Good reaction, sir. Good reaction. I must ask her out again in a couple of days, but first, I'm a sleepy boy. Hey. No, no. Oh, God damn it. Hey, Teresa. I don't know if you forgot, but I actually stay here. Uh, let's go sit. And I'm actually gonna read for a little while. Something I've been wanting to do. <coughs> study. We'll study for like two hours. Two hours of reading, and then we can sleep till about 7 or 8 in the morning. Uh, we should be good. I don't know if two hours of studying is going to do much. I don't know how much time I have to put into it to really get anything out of reading a book. But hopefully, two hours will gain me something. I assume the more I read, the more the, the eventually the letters will not be scrambled as much. Gross, my dude. All right, we're gonna sleep too. Six a.m. We'll have a hundred energy. Perfect. That's what I need. But I think that's gonna wrap up the episode. So I'm gonna let this take over. I'm gonna say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. If you are, you know what to do. Let me know in the comment section below. Again, I appreciate the support on this series, especially since every episode is like an hour plus long. Um, but I hope you've been enjoying as much as I have, because it's been, I've been, I've fallen in love with this game over time. Uh, it, it is really, really fun. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.